Very nice stuff, John. Ladies and gentlemen, John Mayer. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. No, it's my pleasure. Well, thank you for being here. Thanks. I appreciate you coming. It's good to be here. It's good to have you. Thank you. You're, you're meeting unbalanced women. They're kooky. You're meeting kooky women. Uh, yes, I guess you could say that, kooky. I wouldn't pick the word, So but... why wouldn't you do uh, what, say, REM does, and just string together words, instead of spending all this time trying to develop lyrics, why wouldn't you, you know, just say, Christmas party, cheesecake, jelly bean, boom? That's a hit song. Why would you spend so much time putting lyrics into a song when you can say Christmas party, cheesecake, jelly bean, boom? Well, because I think that, you know, R.E.M. has, has you know... Um, no Fear, Cavalier, Lenny Bruce, I mean... No, that's the, that's the end of the world as we know it's Absolutely. Yeah. Great song, I think. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it took just as long as it took for me to write one of my songs. I doubt it. And when you see someone like the Beatles or Elvis, do you get angry? Angry at them for what? Because they have more hits. Uh, it's, it's a very efficient way to get an idea into, into somebody's head. Music. Without... Yes, music. Yeah. Right, because it's catchy, you listen to it, and then you, you raise a daughter who's not kooky, who's going who's gonna to be able to, on her own, to, to, to not be crazy. She won't have cats. She won't have seven or eight cats. Because that's, I think, to me, is an indication that a woman is, is a little kooky, if you want to use that word, is when she has multiple cats. And I think, and correct me if you think I'm wrong, but I think there should be a cat limit for women, too. Let's move on to songwriting. What about putting cliffhangers in songs so that people listen to the next one? I never thought, I never thought about that before. Yeah. Uh... You see what I'm saying? I guess, I guess in a way, that the, I guess, I guess in, the, in a way, the record, uh, the end of the song should kind of sonically lead into the, the next song. You mean actual plot device? I'm saying well, as a cliffhanger, if you had one song, and I'm not a musician, so you'd have to figure out and finesse this, but if one song, say, I would like to love you in the, and then the next song starts up. I already the, want to know what the next word is. See? So, yeah, I see. I you've, told done it, you've done it to yes. me. Yes. And it's RV. Now, when you're in a venue and you're performing mm -hmm. live in front of a thousand people, do you ever worry that they're going to get up in the middle of a song and walk out? You mean one person? I mean, no, people No, have... all of them. Do you ever worry that the entire audience will stand up and walk out the door? Is that a recurring nightmare with you? No. Shouldn't it be? We all know how a cake is made. We know how a, a tire is changed. We know how a plane flies. Do we know how to make a song? No. New Deep, how'd you make it? How did I make New Deep? I, I how did you make New Deep? Yeah, how did I make it? I made how did it. you make New Deep? How did I make New Deep? How I, did you make New Deep? How, how I made it? I, how did you make it? We are now going to see a clip of you playing with one of your musical icons. Yeah. Buddy Lee. Buddy Guy. Set it up. Paul. Yep. Yeah. My guest was John Mayer. His album, Heavier Things, comes out in stores. It's actually been out for a year now. It's been out for a year.